Hey, it's Stephanie Wong and welcome to Season of Scale, a new series I created to help you build scale and resilience into your design patterns. Today, I'll be covering the basics behind how to do that. Stay tuned. With everything going on in the world, there's been undeniable disruption for businesses. Social isolation around the globe has settled in, and traditional brick and mortar companies have been forced to shift operations into an online space, while already online companies are seeing a massive spike in daily traffic. This might have put a lot of pressure on you to adapt and evolve your online architectures, and maybe face the realization that you're both resource and business constrained. This rang true for Critter Junction, a multiplayer gaming company that's gained massive popularity in the last few months. Online players can interact with one another in a virtual world that follows life simulation as a critter. Building and operating a gaming stack at this scale requires a lot of careful planning. So my team and I are stepping in to help Critter Junction revisit their design practices for ultimate global success. So far, Critter Junction has been great at running individual machines on premise, but hasn't really been able to automatically scale to many machines to handle peaks and dips in traffic. At times, they end up running over utilized machines and other times run underutilized machines and haven't built resilience into their architecture. A failure in networking, image updates, or peak load could lead to a disruption in their game player's experience. On top of that, Critter Junction has its own business and operational pressures. Their CTO is all about becoming more agile to adapt to fluctuating user demands, their developers are focusing on reducing the time it takes to investigate failures, and their operators care about finding ways to automatically recover from failures. This is a lot to think about, but let's start by first explaining what scalability and resilience are. Scalability is the measure of a system's ability to handle varying amounts of work by adding or removing resources from the system. For example, a scalable web app can not only work well with one user, but also with 100 million users, and it can gracefully handle peaks and dips in traffic. The good news is the cloud gives you the flexibility to adjust the resources consumed by an app. The bad news, without proper design, you could end up using more resources than you need, like what Critter Junction's done on premise. What you want instead is to reduce costs by removing underutilized resources without compromising performance or user experience. That being said, even scalable apps can face disruptions. Without resilience built in, system failures can throw a wrench in your operations. Resilience means designing to withstand failures. A resilient app is one that continues to function despite failures of system components. And this requires planning at all levels of your architecture. It influences how you lay out your infrastructure and network and how you design your data storage and app. It even extends to people and culture. Let's face it, building and operating resilient apps is hard, especially for distributed gaming stacks, which means multiple layers of infrastructure, networks, and services. So over this season, we're going to walk Critter Junction through Google Cloud design best practices to help them build both scalable and resilient apps. All in all, these patterns and best practices will fall into three themes. Automation, because automating your infrastructure provisioning, testing, and app deployments increases consistency and speed and minimizes human error. Loose coupling, because treating your system as a collection of loosely coupled independent components gives you flexibility and resilience. And data-driven design, because collecting metrics to your app is critical. Decisions about when to scale your app or when a particular service is unhealthy need to be based on data. These themes are going to be crucial to laying a stronger foundation to scale and withstand failures. Mistakes and outages happen, but Critter Junction is on a mission to improve the design of their app architecture and dev processes. Stay tuned to find out how, and remember, always be architecting. <laughs>